forage available and optimising the growth stage at which grass is harvested and grazed will lead to more milk produced from forage and more profit. Whether grazed or fed as silage, grass provides over half the dry matter intake of most dairy cows. This means small improvements in utilisation can have a major impact on production costs. This video outlines technologies available to support dairy farmers in their management of grassland. Very simple piece of equipment and it's measuring the compressed sward height of the grass. So when you plonk it down on the grass, the, um, the plate will sit on top of the, the grass sward and the shaft will drop down and hit the ground. So it's measuring the height difference between the ground and the plate. Um, the counter unit uses a formula um, that's uh, preset in there and that will convert that height into a figure of kilos of dry matter per hectare. With the, with the data that's collected, if you know what you are growing in the field, then you know what you can feed. So with, with uh, a plate meter, if you're measuring your grass and you know what you're growing, you can work out how many cattle you can support per hectare um, and you can make sure that the cattle are turned in at the right time uh, before the grass is grown too, too long, too high um, and you can also make sure that they are taken out at the right time before they overgraze the field. We have 180, or we will have 180 milking cows on three robots, uh, but the, an overriding uh, philosophy on all of that is to integrate that with uh, precision grazing by using 5G and X-ray and satellites to determine grass quality and grass quantity uh, to, for accurate allocation of grazing um, uh, to, to cows through the year, uh, through the day, and, and also to entice cows to move from one paddock to another um, without human intervention. Um, well this is going to be our grazing gate, uh, this situation here. Um, we've got um, an ABC grazing system. We can use the, uh, the, the technology on the cows to divert the cows to either A, B or C. We will allocate 0.8 of a hectare three times a day uh, with the idea that the, the gate will control when the cows are milked, when they move from one to the other, um, as, mu as much as possible. There are three allocations of, of fresh grazing, um, and that would be the enticement to get the cows moving from one paddock to the next. Each time they come to the grazing gate, if they've got milking permission, they go into the barn and be milked. Um, if they haven't, they get diverted to the, ne the next paddock or back to where they've come from if they, if they haven't had been there long enough. Contact basically is, is, this, is this device. Uh, it's the only uh, system in the world where the receiver and the guidance aids are all in one uh, unit. And this actually gets mounted on the bonnet of the tractor um, or, the, or the front of the quad bike or, or whichever uh, like machine they're using. And there's seven uh, LEDs. If a customer uh, is driving on the right line, they get green light in the middle and red lights either side need, need, they need to move. So these lights are super bright. When it's out on the tracks, it's very, very easy to see. The concept is that you're looking out where you want to be going. So dairy farmers don't have a lot of time. Um, you know, they're, they're often milking the cows in the morning and the evening. They've got loads of stuff to do in the day, but they also need to try and get some fertilizer on. Um, so basically they can get the on-track system they just all they need is their iPhone, which generally they carry in, in their pocket, grab the on track from the office, put it onto whichever tractor happens to be in the yard at the moment, put the fertilizer spread around and away you go. It reads the field or it senses the field as you're applying um, nitrogen products. So you you have technology that can sense both the the, the amount of nitrogen in the crop at that time, but it can also sense the actual biomass, so the actual amount of crop that's there. And by using by using that, by sensing that information through spectral reflectance then, and then you, you through some, I suppose, some smart algorithms, it can then basically on the real time convert that into a specific fertilizer recommendation for that part of the field. You're gonna get 
better nitrogen use efficiency. And that, isn't going to, that doesn't mean that we're going to use less nitrogen fertilizer. It will mean that we use the nitrogen that we do apply in a, in a more targeted way.